Hey everyone, my name is Dana. This is one of my first videos, so stick with me. But I actually just filmed this, but I didn't really like any of the footage, so we're trying again. And hopefully you'll enjoy this. So this is my skincare routine, and it's going to show you my morning and my evening routine, which has some overlap, as well as masks and additional treatments I do throughout the week. So let's get into it. So morning... We'll start with this. So I use these two cleansers. I use the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. I really like this. It's really good for taking off makeup, so I like it better in the evening. I've been back using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I also really like this. I had a bigger size at one point, but I ran out and didn't repurchase, but I bought a little sample. So I'm probably gonna get this again because I really like it in the morning. It just is so gentle and it feels really good. So I love that. Don't like the smell, but I get over it. And then what's next? Then I use the Rodan and Field Soothe line. I like the number two step. It's the sensitive skin treatment. So it feels really good if you have um, red or sensitive skin from like weather damage or just sensitive skin in general, which is always me. So I really like this. It feels really nice. It's really cooling on the skin. So I really like this in the morning. Then I follow up with a moisturizer. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Really like this, pretty basic, so it's nothing special. Um, so I don't know if I would like repurchase this, but it's been fine so far and it's lasted a long time. I can't believe it's like barely, you can see it. <laughs> so I like it, I usually use one pump. Okay, so that's morning. Oh, nope, not done. Then I also used the Rodan and Fields Mineral Sunscreen. It's also step four in the Soothe line. I like this. I just like to put sunscreen on. It's, you know, the best thing you could do for your skin right now. I use all this Rodan and Fields because my sister um, sells it. So I'll put her information down below if you guys are interested. It's really good. I really like it. It is pricey, but pretty much everything I've tried in the line has been so good. So I love this. And then I go on and put makeup on or just leave that how it is and go take on the day. So, okay, then evening comes around. If I've had makeup on, I will use, um, actually, even if I don't, I just <laughs> cleanse my skin with the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. So just basic cleansing. And then depending on the day, I'll go into different steps. I'll start with just a regular day without any of the additional skin treatments I use. I'll go in and tone my face with the Earth Mama Angel Baby New Mama Bottom Spray. So this is technically not for your face, but it works great for your face. Um, all that's in it is witch hazel, cucumber, lavender oil, and peppermint oil. It's really refreshing, really cooling on the face. Absolutely love it. I actually just spray this all day any day but it's really good in the evening after I cleanse to tone that way please excuse the hair it's really needing a cut okay then I'll go and sometimes use the soothe line I usually use this in the morning but it depends on how my skin's feeling if I've had a rough day sometimes it's good then I'll go in with the moisturizer like the morning time pretty good stuff then I will use the Rodan and Fields Redefine Line Multifunction Eye Cream. Love this stuff. Um, eye creams are weird. I mean, I'm 22, so I don't have like wrinkles, but I'm trying to prevent that happening. I sometimes get dark circles, so this I think is really helping, but it feels really good. It's really easy to put on. It doesn't burn my eyes. I don't love it in the mornings because it doesn't, I mean, it's okay under makeup, but not the best. So I like to use this in the evening. So yeah, that's my normal day, um, normal routines in the morning and the evening. But if I'm doing a weekly treatment, the most common one I do is the Paula's Choice Resist uh, line weekly resurfacing treatment. It's 10% AHA glycolic acid and it, I just put it on like a cleansing pad and then I put it all over my face right after using cleanser and I leave it on overnight. And then I'll go on and put moisturizer on top of this or an oil. I love this. I wake up and my skin just feels like really, really smooth. It's a chemical exfoliant, so it works awesome. 
love it. This is my second bottle of it and it lasts a long, long time and it's actually not that expensive for what it is. So I definitely recommend this. It's really good. Okay. So I use that on about once a week, sometimes twice a week if I'm feeling like my skin's just crazy. I'm dealing with some texture issues, so that helps, but that's that. Um, it does kind of sting and burn sometimes, but it doesn't, or like itch a little bit but sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's not so bad. On a different day, I'll go in with the Microdermabrasion Paste by Rodan and Fields. I love this stuff. It smells really good. Um, but yeah, it's just like a physical exfoliant. I really like it. It feels really good on the face. I use it on my body. Really, really like that. So I use that about once or twice a week. Another mask I love is the Glam Glow. Um, this is the Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. It's the orange bottle. Um, it's also an exfoliant, so I don't use this on, obviously on the same day as either of those exfoliants. But you put it and you exfoliate it into your face and then you leave it on as a mask. So I love that. Um, another mask I don't use very often, but I do really like it, is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay. This is like this huge thing I got on Amazon for like 12 bucks and I literally use like none of it because it's like you need one tablespoon of this. I mix it with apple cider vinegar. feels crazy on the skin. It like tingles really bad, but it doesn't hurt. But then it gets so hard on your face and I really like it. So that's awesome. So those are my main things I use for skincare. I'm really interested in finding a facial or a cleansing oil. I've heard about a few that look good. I haven't actually bought any yet, but if you guys have recommendations, let me know. I have really sensitive skin, so I've heard that oils really help in the, um, as one of the first steps for cleansing or removing makeup. So I would really like to know your input. But besides that, that's my routine. It's kind of a work in progress. I'm still kind of working with it, finding what's perfect, what really works. I haven't found a moisturizer that I'm absolutely in love with that I would like ever repurchase. So I'm still kind of figuring that out as well. But yes, so that is that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you very soon.